The first step in the process of using NetBeans for remote development is to first configure the remote host to be used for development. To do this, first click on the Services tab and right click on the C++ Build Host and click Add New Host. Type in your host name, in which in this case it's redhawk.hpc.miamioh.edu. Click Next and we are going to use the password method for authentication. Uh, here it'll ask you if you want to continue connecting, click yes, we, and it'll say that it needs to create a known host, click yes. Finally, it'll ask you for a password, type in your Miami University password. And here, now NetBeans goes, logs in, and configures the host. Uh, in case it has trouble connecting to Red Hawk, ensure that you do have VPN connection enabled. This process does take a few seconds. Um, sometimes I've noticed that NetBeans can take a while, and in this case, I've usually canceled out of the process and restarted it. Here it correctly detected uh, GCC 4.9.2 and Intel C compiler version 15. By default, we want to use ICC, um, and we are going to access projects, all the projects' files being stored remotely via secure FTP. Click the Finish button and you should be able to see your uh, remote host showing up there. If you would like, you can make it your default um, build host. And also, in order to ease working with the remote files and remote projects, ensure you are able to view the remote toolbar by clicking on View, Toolbars, and Remote. And you should be able to see a remote toolbar. Your host should be set to Red Hawk, and the green icon indicates you're connected, and now you're ready for doing remote development on Red Hawk using NetBeans.